hey, today I want to share with you how to use GitHub Copilot with your R Studio. So I will show you in three simple steps how to integrate this amazing AI tool. The reasons for which GitHub Copilot is the leading AI in code is because it is developed by GitHub. That is the main repository where everybody puts their code. So it has the best resources to learn from. And the second thing is that all the IDEs have an integration with this tool. So you can use the AI directly where you run the code. So let's move to the first step of this process that is getting GitHub Copilot. So for this, what you need to do is to go to GitHub and sign in into your account. If you don't have an account, you can sign up. So we sign in into our account. This is my account. You go to settings and you go here in this menu, you have the Copilot option. I already have my account. So here it's showing that my Copilot is active. What you need to do is to log in and request the GitHub Copilot. So we have the GitHub Copilot account now. The next thing that we need to do, and this is the step two of the process, is to go to the R Studio and request the connection to our GitHub Copilot. I'm here in R Studio. Know that here it says Copilot not signed. And I will just write a small example where I ask R Studio to teach me how to use a function. So I'm requesting the program to show me how to use the group by function of the deployer package. And as you can see, there is no auto completion. There is no suggestion of what to do next. And you can see here that Copilot is not signed in. So let's go ahead and try to sign in into Copilot. So we go to tools, global options. And then in the menu, as you can see, at the end, we have Copilot. We click there and we go and ask to sign in. So they give us a code here that we want to use to let GitHub know that is us, that is requesting the access to Copilot. So what we need to do is to go to this link here in the screen. So we'll copy that and we go there. Here is where we put our code and say authorize GitHub Copilot plugin. And we are authorizing and it says, congratulations, you are all set. Now, if we go back to where our studio is authenticating and suddenly it says, okay, everything is fine. You see that I'm signed in, it gives you the sign out option and we are all good. So now we see that there is Copilot and here is telling you what Copilot is doing. Okay, so now let's move to the third part of this process and is to understand how to use Copilot within our studio. So you see here that we have Copilot and we have here something that is telling you what Copilot is thinking. I wrote this prompt and what Copilot will start doing is auto completion and suggest me things to do. The first thing that it suggests to do is to create this chunk of code. I will do it directly from here. And then it goes, okay, you want to use the deployer library. So load the deployer library. You see that this is in gray and to accept this, you have to press the tab key and that uh, it goes. So we accepted this change. Then we move down and uh, it says load this data, the data M cars. We are going to do that. So here it suggests to take that data frame group by the CYL column and then summarize the mean of the MPG column using this group, this grouping by CYL. So we accept that. Now it's all in black. Now we are going to run this. So first we loaded the library, then we loaded these empty cars. And here we have this data frame where we have the function group by and the summary. So this is helpful. This is actually giving you a pipe where the group by function is being used, but it's a little bit raw. So we can come here and say, okay, explain me a little bit. So it not only provides you code, but also it provides you some documentation. So you can say, okay, this function here groups the number of cylinders and calculate the mean miles per gallon. We can also ask for more details. It's like we can say, show, show me the empty cars data. So it, it will give you the heads of empty cars. When we do that, we have like here the head of the empty car. So you have the different types of cars, the different type of cylinders. That's in a nutshell how you can use GitHub Copilot within R. It not only helps you with the code itself, it also allows you to incorporate comments and you can ask the AI to do things for you using natural language in your comments. If you want to see an example of how I use GitHub Copilot for microarray analysis, check this video over here. And with that, I hope you find this tool 
extremely useful and I will see you in the next video.